sufrimiento que cruza por su mente. I've done it before, yeah? Okay, but there's another thing. We heard it before, yesterday, I think. What's the first thought that crosses your mind? Imagine yourself trying to solve this problem. What's the first thing? Imagine that you're trying to solve this problem. What's the first thing that crosses your mind? It looks hard. It looks hard. Yeah. That might be a uh, uh, too bad. Which part of physics is this? Kirchhoff's laws. There we've got the answer that I wanted. The first thought that crosses your mind is Kirchhoff's law. La primera cosa que pasa por tu mente son las leyes de Kirchhoff. For those of you who don't know, Kirchhoff's laws are the laws that that govern currents and potential differences in these in circuits. Para los que no saben lo que es Kirchhoff son los que gobiernan la corriente, la diferencia potencial en este tipo de circuitos. And students are pre-programmed to recognize. Y los estudiantes están pre-programados para reconocer a diagram with waiting lines. Y un diagrama como este means Kirchhoff's law. Que significa lo que es Kirchhoff. So my question to you now is, once you have identified this problem as a Kirchhoff's law problem, how much physics is left? You're being very generous, almost nothing. Casi nada, exactly. It's completely a mathematical problem. It's just a, you just take the numbers and you put them in the right spot. The little bit of physics left has to do with the sign of the potential differences. Clearly, my students were very good at solving Kirchhoff's law problems. Now remember, the paper has not yet landed on its back. First part of you say, oh, this is a Kirchhoff's law problem. And you've actually already solved the problem. No more physics left. Did my students understand Kirchhoff's laws? I think it's clear if they understood it, they could have answered this problem. And clearly, 40% of the students in my class did not understand Kirchhoff's law, no but they were able to solve the problem. Now, I don't think we can blame the students for this. Open any physics textbook. And somewhere on page 20 or so, there is this box that says problem solving strategy. I'm sure you've seen those. Step one read the problem. Paso número uno, lea el problema. Step two, make a sketch. Paso número dos, haga un diagrama. Step three, choose your axes. Paso número tres, escoja tus ejes. And so on. Y así sucesivamente. Imagine you're a pre-medical student again. Imagínense que soy estudiante de medicina. And you see this box. Y usted ve este recuadro. And you think, wow, that's great. Wow, eso es fantástico. 